Representing the 14 to 16 foot class in the flats category, the custom Ginu Low Tide 25 has an overall length of 16 feet, a beam of 4 feet 8 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 25. Designed to float in just inches of water, she has a draft of 5 inches, a dead rise of 5 degrees, and a dry weight of 270 pounds. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, Dave East and Rick Riles. This is the Ginu LT25, or really low tide 25 as they call it. And I mean, it's not 25 feet long, obviously, but it can take up to a 25 horse motor. I think the goal of the whole Ginu concept when it started was all the advantages of a canoe, plus the ability to be in a boat. It screams access. This boat can take you in little back bayous, coves, creeks, places that you're just not gonna fit a normal size flats boat. It'll also go a lot of places where your kayaks will go, but you're gonna get there a heck of a lot faster. You're not gonna have to trailer. You can launch this boat at a typical boat ramp. This boat's got some real speed, it's got some range, it's got legs where it can cross a bay. But when you get there, now you've got the usefulness of a small boat, but yet you'll be able to get there on your own boat instead of have a trailer it around and launch it like a kayak. Well, just look at the way it blew through that gator trail today. You couldn't have done that in any other kind of boat. It can be a bass boat, it can be a flats boat, it can be a skiff, it can be anything you want it to do. This boat is at home on Lake Okeechobee, it's at home on a pond, it's at home way deep into Florida Bay. This boat is designed for two people to fish. You've got a trolling motor up here, a pulling platform back there, whichever one you want to use, but you need two people for this boat to really be balanced right and fish at its maximum efficiency. You didn't suddenly just get taller. This boat has a little bit of a raised deck in the front, which I really kind of like because it gives you a casting area, but you're still down inside the boat. And you know what else I love about this bow, Dave? Old guy, old guys need trolling motors, and this thing responds with a trolling motor on a dime. Well, not only that, that big Minn Kota is going to drag this thing like, around like a rag doll. You don't have to have a big thrust trolling motor, so you don't have to have two batteries or three batteries. You know, a 12-volt trolling motor is plenty for this boat. You also have a push pole. You can get this boat in really skinny water, skinnier than you can actually run the trolling motor. So the addition of the push pole just gives the boat a little bit more access, a little bit deeper onto the flat. It is a true backwater boat. But you know what? The minute you get done casting, the minute you get done fishing, you get a lot of the creature comforts of a boat. You realize how comfortable the seating is? Even the sea deck. The sea deck to me is not only noise canceling, it's a whole lot easier on an old man's feet. Well, it's less fatiguing for sure. And if you drop a weight, it's not going to broadcast and tell every fish on the flat that you just drop something in the bottom of the boat. But even more than that, just the function of the boat, the fact that they decided to go with the center console on this boat gives it more of the feel of a flats boat, of a traditional flats boat, but yet you still have the, the shallow water accessibility that Gini is famous for. Come on back here and let me explain something to you. Now this one's got a console. We see them tiller handle, we see them everywhere. But the thing that really appealed to me about this particular model, the fact that it's got a 56 inch beam to it, did you ever feel tippy while we were both standing up fishing today? Oh, not at all. Not only just fishing, but the fact that you were able to walk past this center console. You know, this is a big center console. This is a center console that you would normally see in a, in a pretty nice size flats boat. But it's not oversized for this boat because it gives you a lot of storage. You can take enough provisions to where if you're going to go way out into the Florida Bay and you're going to spend all day long on the boat, you can take rain gear, you can take food, you can take all your drinks. You can take enough stuff with you where you don't have to come back to the dock at the end of the day. This boat gives you access to areas that you're really not going to get out of the smaller boat. And you've got real boat features in this boat. Look at the size of this live wheel. The live wheel in this boat is big. You still have areas back there for additional storage. Another thing that's really cool, it's got a removable fuel tank. One more thing about the stability, we have a pulling platform in the back. We were able to get up there, pull the boat around. The boat wasn't tippy. One person on the platform, one person walking around the boat. It really worked. It performed well. That's something you're not going to do in a boat that's skinnier than this or smaller than this. Well, there's not much that this boat doesn't do well. You can fish it in very skinny water. You can park it in your garage. You can take it in fresh or salt. Use a trolling motor, pull it, fish it by yourself, fish it with your buddy. If you're looking for a shallow water boat, that you can get into for a small commitment and still be just a perfectly stealthy fishing package, this Ginu may be the one you need to look at.